This flip-flop in policy will have a direct negative impact on our business climate here. When you tell corporations in this state in December that this surcharge is going to sunset, they make plans accordingly. They strike budgets. They make decisions based on their taxes. And then some six months later, we pull the carpet out from underneath our business community and we leave them hanging. The impact of that is that our business community has no faith or confidence in us and in their ability to operate and grow here in New Jersey. And that's trouble because the increase in this tax makes our corporate business tax the highest in the nation, which means that any one of these corporations can go to a different state and do much better. And believe me, they may not pick up and leave immediately, but over time, we will see it. And the tax revenues that we will collect, we will feel it. And that's not a good position to be in in the state of New Jersey. You know, I've said many times that the Republicans would like a seat at the table. We'd like a seat at the table to be able to discuss important policies like this, to provide alternatives, to attract businesses here, to grow the economy. But this is another example where the Republicans were left out of the discussion. So when people begin to feel the impact of this increased taxes, and when New Jersey becomes more and more affordable, unaffordable, people need to recognize that the Republicans had no input into this policy. And I think the votes on the board today will show that. It's unfortunate because had we had input into this policy, things might have been much different today and the state would have been better off for it. Thank you, Mr. Senate President.